I want to say this right now. I still do not trust that guy whatsoever. I I'm sorry. I, I just can't trust a dude that looks that clean and has a community. Like, let let's look at, you know, previous experiences from this series. Woodbury and Terminus, okay? Each different little awesome little society that supposedly people have made a community for others has been corrupt or bad. Like, Woodbury, the governor, and then you have Terminus with people being cannibals. So, if, you know, the past tells us anything, this community is probably going to have something wrong with it. I, I, I'm just going to say, it may be sunshine and rainbows on the outside, but I'm willing to bet you it's going to have some form of darkness inside of it, because, let's be real here. The Walking Dead cannot stop here. Like, the series needs to continue on an adventure. Like, our characters need to continue moving on to state to state or town to town, stuff like that. Because if they were to stay in one location, we would have an entire Season 2 reenactment. I mean, I remember how many people, you know, reacted to Season 2 when it first aired. Nobody really liked that because all you saw was a farm, the barn, stuff like that. People did not like seeing how our group was stuck in one location. And if this community is safe, I highly doubt it will be safe for long. Even if they were good, I highly doubt they are going to be safe for all time. I I'm just going to be real here because we learned our lesson from Season 2. Nowhere is safe. And that is the main rule you learn from Season 2 of The Walking Dead. So no matter if you have this big-ass community and you're fine, nowhere is safe. There can eventually be people coming in, destroying the town, stuff like that. Nowhere is safe. I just want to emphasize that. So even if this community is good, I highly doubt they're going to stand for very long now that Rick and the gang is there because there is no way that that town is going to stand when we've had some form of foreshadowing for the past two episodes, which I want to dive into. So, we found out, I think on the first episode of this mid-season, that there was this group that was going around butchering people, cutting them into pieces and stuff like that, and they were going all the way across the East Coast up into Washington. We saw that on, like, a news story and stuff like that. Rick is kind of unaware of that. He's completely unaware, and I'm going to assume either A, this town is those butchers or b the butchers are going to come to this town and kill everybody and it forces rick and the gang to leave the town because the the, the group that's probably going to come in there and try to murder everybody that's what i'm going to assume is going to happen and that's going to be the main plot when it focuses you know rick to leave this town I, i'm just assuming that but the thing was, with this episode, you get to see how Rick does not want to trust this dude at all. And I personally, as a watcher of The Walking Dead, I, I'm the same as Rick. I, I honestly would act exactly like Rick because everybody they've ever tried to trust in this series has always tried to stab them in the back, twist that knife a little bit, or screw them over. And the dude, honestly, he was giving off shady vibes the entirety of this episode. And I still don't 100% trust this dude in this episode because like I said past experiences no no it just I'm saying it, no I, I wouldn't trust the dude either yo but like seriously you've all been in like in the exact same situation as Rick and he's only doing this to protect you all and I'm thinking like ah, oh well they're, they're gonna learn in the hard way like they're, they're definitely gonna learn the hard way in this town I, I know for a fact something bad is gonna happen so, episode overall, when it came to the pacing and progression, it was very good. It got the ball moving. We got to see, you know, Rick and the gang actually make it to the town, and then we were cliffhangered on, you know, them walking through the gate or about to walk through the gate. So, we did not actually get to see if this town is good or not. We did not get to see, but we can assume it might be good on the outside, but only time will tell by next week. Now, tell me your thoughts. I mean, how did you all feel about this episode? I mean, this episode, in terms of pacing, was a lot better than last week. I noticed a couple of you Cheebits did not like last week's episode because it was mainly just talking and walking. And it wasn't really much going on. I personally liked last week's episode. But, I mean, I know everybody has their own taste and preference when it comes to The Walking Dead or different episodes in general. And I'm, you know, curious, how do you all feel about this episode? Was this episode a lot more fast-paced for you? How do you feel about, you know, the character interactions and how Rick is being argued with? With by his fellow people because he doesn't want to trust this random dude. I mean, how do you feel about that? Overall, I, I enjoyed it. Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I love you all so much. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.